here you are, second on the list, 205 catches and 149 matches. Not all of them at slip, but most of them at slip. If you look at the, the list of the, the leading catches, I mean, they're all slip catches, aren't they? That's where the business happens in, in cricket. I mean, who, who of these guys um, did you particularly admire? Well, I think all of them are wonderful fielders. I think, you know, I think everyone admires probably Mark Waugh, where he had a lot of soft hands, the way he used to grab Warney and then uh, against McGrath and all those guys, you know, the catches he took. But all these are brilliant um, slip fielders, and obviously they had good well, bowlers. As I was going to say, it helps to have good bowlers, doesn't it? <laughs> and in particular, the combination with you and Murray there, 77 catches in 96 matches. It's just the fear factor, you don't want to miss any of Murali. <laughs> <laughs> just let, big let, guys, you know, just Let's talk up. a bit about the technique of catching then. Just come into a, a position here. Um, let's imagine, first of all, we're in the subcontinent. Murali's bowling, a spinner's bowling. Um, talk about the kind of position you'd find yourself in. Do you turn your body slightly towards the batsman? How wide do you stand? How relaxed are you looking to be? Well, I think it depends on the wicketkeeper's angle as well. So you sit, have the wicketkeeper and then Depends more is bowling with the newer ball or the older one. Newer one, it will probably skid through. The older one have a bit more grip and spin. So if it's a right hand or a left hand, I'll position myself accordingly. I give the wicket so You've slightly turned yourself in there. I will you? turn because my angle to the batsman is always going to be from that position. And then you want to give yourself because I'm a right hand, I yes. know I could go more to my right than the left, but I want to cover my left hand as well. And the important thing is not to have close feet. As soon as you have close feet, then your movement gets restricted and your hands might get hit. So you need to open your f feet outwards so that your hands can freely move across. That's important. And at the same time, then you can turn your body without getting restricted by your knee or the feet. So that's your ideal position. But in the subcontinent, because the wickets are slow and low, what we tend to do is we widen our stance and then go lower so that you might not be able to go further, but still you can catch anything which is low. How are you catching them? Good. Are you in practice? <laughs> Hopefully. Well, well let's, let's do a little drill. So we're imagining we're in the subcontinent here. So the drill is reaction catching. You get somebody very close to this ramp and you're going to stand quite tight with wide feet. Yep. And I'm just going to underarm and this is pure reflex Correct. catching. Correct. But everything's low because in the subcontinent there's not much bounce. Yeah, and you have Brilliant. to stand very close Brilliant. to the bat as well because everything dies down on you. So if a batsman cuts at you. I go harder. Brilliant, by the way. Brilliant. <laughs> Last one. Great. Fantastic. If the batsman cuts, you go like that. There's no chance that you might get it. I mean, off your body, you might be able to catch something. But. The majority of them are going to come low. Well, let's have a look at uh, a couple of your catches off Morally. I think we've got uh, a couple from Morally here. So this is New Zealand, so you're a bit deeper there. Yeah. But subcontinent, you'll be tighter. I'll be much tighter, and that's the angle that I cover for the left-hander because the ball's spinning away from Morley. So I stay very wide. So I could actually cover the gully field as well. But Mendis is quicker. That's Mendis, who's a much quicker bowler, so you'd stand, what, two, I, three yards deeper? Yeah, for sure, because he's not going to spin the ball that much. It's like a medium pace, so you're literally giving yourself time so that it comes quicker. Cover the wicketkeeper, mostly, not the wider one, because he's not going to spin, and make sure that, you know, you wait for the quicker ones. OK, so you go a bit deeper now. Imagine either we're in Australia, New Zealand, or you're standing to Mendis. So you've gone, you've gone deeper. Yeah. Yeah, narrower I, stance. Narrow stance, but it's important that you still have this wider thing, so you have time for the movement. Too slow? Yeah, that's fine. Brilliant. Why did you retire? <laughs> <laughs> it's about, I think, a lot of the Australian guys go cup first yes. because of the height and the pace. So you need to have that option of going that way as well as the other direction, so... Whoa, oh, done him, done him. That's why I retired, because <laughs> I don't take all of them. <laughs> Last one. Yeah. So it's a movement where you can, like, with Mark Waugh and all that... Very important quickly. Important thing is that... taught your catch. I just wanted to show you Chris Jordan, probably England's best slip fielder. He, a bit like Matthews, is showing the right side because he's a strong right-handed fielder, and he's almost standing in the wrong position 
but he's a brilliant reaction catcher. He's a brilliant reaction. He's, he's giving himself that right hand because he knows he can go that way. So there's no harm in doing that because he can then cover the left hand, which is probably his weaker hand, but then have the option of the right hand. Thank you very much. Chris, the Jordan's very good. Mahela's still not bad.